Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. Apologize for the video clicking off as much as it is for the future event reading. And I know the reading's a little bit longer than usual, so bear with me. Um, I'll more than likely have to make a few more parts to this. I'll try to fix the memory on it as well. Okay, but where we left off with is the Four of Grains. What I was trying to say before it clicked off is the elites of the world will do anything for power. They will do anything for money, materialistic things, materialistic gain. Because they do not think of the end situation. They do not realize that you cannot take that with you. What ends up being the thing that matters is our soul. The things we have done in this world. And it's letting you know to always remember what's important. You know, because we have the abundance that God gives us. You know, he will make sure that we have everything equipped for every good work that he wants us to do. But not to be like the people of the world that are corrupted. You know, like the celebrities. They lose their soul. They do terrible, evil things just to get fame. Or in their mind, you know, materialistic things that they think are going to last forever. But they are not. So it's just letting you know to hold on to what is actually important. Now the next card out for you is the King of Candles, King David. I have been with you everywhere you have gone. And I have cut off your enemies. From before you. Now I will make your name great, like the names of the greatest men of earth. This is the King of David's King of Candles. So, with this coming out, this is letting you know that God is going to help you reach the path that you're meant to be on. He will destroy your enemies as they try to attack you. Remember, you're the unicorn, and you know, you have people that are going after you like barking dogs that are trying to, you know, block your path, trying to make you stumble. But it's letting you know here that God is going to destroy your enemies and he's going to make sure that you are going to get in the position that you're meant to be in. And it represents leadership, vision, charisma, boldness and courage, creative and artistic talent, complex and dynamic personality. So God is blessing you with all these very deep and powerful spiritual gifts. Now this ugly card did come out, which is the devil the devil tempting humans to sin. So this is representing like for the future events, what's going on in the world. Everyone is corrupt. Everyone is evil. You know, the majority of everyone, I should say, not everyone, but a good majority of people are following the demonic ways of this world. And, you know, they unfortunately outnumber the good. But it's letting you know here that God, as he's leading you down the spiritual path, he's going to equip you with his armor to stand against these demonic energies because these people are corrupt. They're slaves to the devil and they go and they spread evil around the world. They become hosts for demons and they try to cause people to fall into sin, you know, trying to corrupt others with their lies, with their slander, trying to make people be acceptant of evil things, trying to make them follow lustful and evil ways. But it's letting you know here that you are going to be different. You're walking a different path. And the devil is going to recognize you. He's going to recognize the fact that you are not one of these people that are demonic. Now the next card out is the Queen of Feathers. Abigail the Peacemaker. And it says here on the card, May you be blessed for your good judgment, for keeping me from bloodshed this day, and from avenging myself with my own hands. So this woman had saved David from a battle and she had brought peace between these two men that were fighting. She was the voice of reason. And I feel like this is the energy that you're in with the Queen of Ab you know, Queen Abigail. It's almost like the Queen of Cups type energy is what I'm picking up here. Video clicks off, I will make the other half. So this is the energy you're in and you are going to be the one that's going to be the voice of reason when the world is going in chaos. And you know, as this happens, you're meant to follow this divine path. Just know that the devil is going to try to throw roadblocks at you. Just, you know, be strong and putting in the armor of God as you're fighting these uh, spiritual warfare and battle with these fallen angels. We will finish this up in the other part of the reading.